Are you tired of snagging your pistol when it comes out of your pants? Well, that problem is solved coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your source for gun guides, gear reviews, and if it goes bang, we like to talk about it. The Sig Sauer P365 made a splash last year, and with good reason, it has a massive capacity, at least for its size, 10 plus one, in a micro compact size, it really is small. And SIG followed that one up by releasing the XL. It's a little bit bigger and a little more shootable. And the third in the series has just been released. It's the P365 SAS, which stands for the SIG Anti-Snag System. I'm gonna walk you through the features. I'll get it out to the range. I'll tell you all that you need to know about the SAS package. And at the end, I'm gonna have a question for all y'all. If it's your first time here, we always put a ton of stuff down below for you to check out, including a link that goes over to a full article on this gun, plus a lot more over at pewpewtactical.com. And if you're already on the website, you know the drill. Take a look up above and down below. There's a lot to see. Now, choosing a concealed carry gun is a big decision. There's features, there's performance, there's capacity, there's all those sorts of things that are a lot to consider. And a lot of folks have adopted the P365 as their personal carry. And for the last year, I've been using my P365 as part of my regular rotation. So when SIG announced the new SAS, I was interested. Now let's go through the features first. The micro compact frame is polymer and the slide is stainless steel with a nitron finish and it's small overall it's about half a mini pumpkin in size it's got a three inch barrel inside a 5.8 inch slide it's a little over four inches tall it's one inch wide and it weighs in at just over a pound unloaded it of course is striker fired and it holds 10 rounds of nine millimeter in the mag and one in the chamber with a total capacity of 11 rounds. What it comes with is a pair of 10 round magazines, one of which has a pinky extension. Now, I know we've talked a lot about boxes before, how most of y'all just throw those in the closet, but with this one, I think it's actually cool. It's small and it's sturdy, and I think some folks, when they're not concealed carrying this gun, they'll enjoy using this box, maybe for storage or for transport. Now, every feature that I've mentioned so far is exactly like the regular P365. Let me walk you through the SAS package. Again, that's the SIG anti-snag system. The entire gun has been smoothed out to prevent snagging when it's drawn. And this is sort of more for drawing from pants pockets or a vest pocket rather than from a rigid holster. The slide is rounded down along the top and the slide lock and the takedown levers are all but gone. The barrel is ported and the slide is compensated to get some of the gas up and away from the muzzle to help eat up some of the snappiness of the original P365. Now here's where it gets interesting. The the sights are also completely flush. The bullseye style sight is a fiber optic tritium night sight, and to see those sights, you've got to get the gun exactly lined up. Here's two photos showing how if you move just a wiggle to either side, you can't see the sights. And finally, street price for the SAS model right now is about $580. All right, let's get out to the range. For this test, I got a boatload of rounds down the pipe. The short version of my experience is that the gun ran flawlessly. I took it straight out of the box, I filled up both mags, and I let her rip. Zero problems at the range, at least for me. The sights did take a little bit to get used to. SIG designed them to be bright, and that they are. They're really bright. So in an emergency situation, you can acquire the sights quickly, but to be clear, they're a little funky. They really are different. And to be honest, I don't know how I feel about them, but they're different, and they did get my attention. As far as ergonomics, it feels exactly like the regular 365, except for the mag lock and the takedown lever. And when firing, the SAS ported barrel and the compensated slide really do eat up some of the snap. It is certainly less snappy than the original P365. For me, the trigger is okay. Nothing to get excited about. A little bit of take up and an okay break. No complaints from me. It's okay. Let's talk about accuracy. This gun is not designed for serious range shooting. It's not a match grade gun, not by any means. It is a gun for emergencies and concealed carrying. There's a lot of chatter online about how that port 
ported barrel and the slide cuts affect the accuracy, but it's a three inch barrel designed to shoot 10 yards, maybe even much less than that. So what do you expect? My experience in the accuracy department really was okay. Instead of going for my normal torso steel, I spent most of this test with a 12 inch steel plate and I was able to stack rounds no problem. Of course, I struggled with the magazine release just like I do with every micro sized gun. Hashtag orangutan hands. Now looks wise, I think the P365 is all right. I like the branding, it's pretty minimal, so no complaints from me. Now here's what I like about the P365 SAS five things. First, after two years on the market, this platform has had a boatload of field testing and after that first hiccup with the initial launch and SIG corrected that one quickly, the gun has been performing well by most accounts. So I trust it. Second, and I know this is obvious, but it is fantastic to have this many rounds in a gun this concealable. Here it is in my hidden hybrid holster. Now this holster was made from our regular 365, but it fits the SAS just fine. Third, that nitron finish is is tough. If you sweaty beasts are going to be carrying this next to your man belly, that finish can handle anything that you throw at it. Fourth, y'all know I'm a big fan of those SIG grips. Now there's no need to stipple these. They feel great right out of the box. I like the grips. And finally, while I've got mixed feelings about the sights, I've hammered that one pretty hard, but they're weird. I really enjoyed getting to try something new. Other companies have done flush fit sights before, but for me, this was a new experience. I kind of like them. I, I don't know where I'm going to end up on this one, but for now, I do kind of like them. As far as my concerns, let me be clear. I've got none as to performance. The gun absolutely runs. But I'm curious about the sight picture covering up the target. And I think most folks, including me, are going to be frustrated with the slide lock being flushed with the slide. And I also think a lot of owners are not gonna like using a tool for the takedown. I'm a fan of the classic SIG takedown lever and this newfangled one, I'm gonna use the word again, it's a little frustrating. So with those concerns in mind, here's my big takeaway on the SAS. It is designed for a specific, I'll even call it a narrow purpose for carrying concealed in your pants or in a vest, something like that in fabric rather than in kydex and it's designed to draw quickly and get those bright green sights on target so it's a trade-off from the regular p365 it's got a weird takedown situation a non-existent slide lock and funky sights but these are all again trade-offs to be able to come out of your pants smoothly I think most traditional CCW folks are probably going to want to stick with the original P365, that's me, but for those of you who carry in fabric regularly, the SAS may be worth considering and that's my question of the day for all y'all. How many of you sometimes carry your gun in your breeches pocket or in a vest pocket in fabric rather than a holster? Let me know your thoughts down below. Overall, I had fun with the Six Hour P365 SAS. It ran great. It was fun to try something different and overall a big thumbs up from me. On behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny and we'll see you soon.